In this lesson, we're going to create the eyebrows and the eyelashes. All right, so to get started, let's go to our front view and uh, take a look at what we have to work with. Now, I can uh, come up in here and I can grab my polygon tool and I can select the polygons where the eyebrows would belong and I can borrow those. So I'm going to grab my move tool, hold down shift and drag that out. We're going to make this its um, own object for right now. So we'll call this eyebrow. And then we'll select that object, go to our uh, front view, and we'll start to shape this. Now let's select our main body, hit Alt X so we can see through that. And let's also hit Alt X on this object. Go to vertex mode and start shaping that to the shape of the eyebrow that we have here. Okay, so make that a little bit thinner. And I'm going to bring this one down. Okay, and I know it's kind of hard to see. And I apologize for that. We can actually take this object, right click and hide that selection. And there's the ponytail kind of in the way too, but that's all right. Um, hit Alt text on that one, and we'll pull this up, and this one, and we're going to take these verts, pull these down, and there we go. Let's kind of just set up this topology flow a little bit better. And I want to pull this over to here, and this right here. Okay, so there's our our shape there. Now I'm going to take these polygons and I'm going to inset those. But I'm just going to inset those a little bit. Okay. With that set, let's pull those out in the Y direction, just to give that a little bit more um, thickness there. And then I can take that border and I can scale that in all three directions just to make it a little bit larger and then we'll come in and I'll just move these points individually okay something along these lines here great okay so now uh, with this I'm going to hit Alt X let's do the same thing for our hair let's unhide our character hit Alt X on that one and let's just get this positioned um, on the head. Let's go to our hierarchy panel, effect pivot only, center to object. And let's put that right on the forehead there. Now, you'll notice that it's not fitting all that well. Um, let's go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Let's pull it back out. And you know what, let's just go vertex by vertex set. So we'll pull these back. We'll take these, we'll pull those back. Okay. And I do want that set of vertices along the back to kind of uh, to penetrate through the, the head there, so that's okay. We'll take these, and we'll pull that back. And then also these on the front, pull that back. Okay. Apply Turbo Smooth, you'll see what that looks like. And again, because we've created that edge there, uh, that's going to turbo smooth nicely. Let's go to Isoline Display. And you may have to uh, take these points right here, push those back into the, the head just a little bit further. And there we go. Turn that off there. Okay. So let's smooth out quite nicely. Just a little bit of work to do left. Um, let's take this polygon right here on the front. Let's show end result, see what that looks like, and just pull that straight out. Go to vertex mode, push that one in, and take this edge out and this one out. Okay, so just make sure that that is looking good. Push that one in just a little bit more. All right, so I'm happy with that shape. Let's go ahead and use Mirror. Set that to Instance. And we're going to make sure that that's set in the Z. And then I'm going to push that over into the, the X direction. 
and that looks good. So there we have her eyebrows. Now she looks a little more uh, appealing. So uh, without the eyebrows, it does look a little off. Uh, we might want to come in and just rotate this just a little bit. Okay, and then we need the eyelashes. So I'm going to do the same thing with the eyelashes. I'm going to borrow geometry. There's no sense in um, uh, not using it um, if we have it available. It's already mostly there, so all we have to do is just grab our move tool, hold down shift, pull that out. Let's clone it to our object, and we'll say eyelash. And then we'll take this, and we'll start to form that into our shape. So let's go ahead and grab vertex mode, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull that up just like so. And a nice uh, little shape there. Let's double click on this edge. Let's pull that back. And I want to pull that back into the eye a little bit to where that's kind of resting right on that. Now, you'll notice that we're cutting through again. Let's go ahead and grab our Swift Loop tool. Hold down Shift and click right there, and then we'll grab our Move tool and we'll pull that out and down. Now I'm going to take all those polygons right here, pull those forward, and then that entire edge across the top, pull that forward too. Now we have this right here in the corner. I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to target weld here to here. And then in our front view, we'll just make some slight changes to that topology. Now we could also do the same thing around the bottom of the eye, and you can make those adjustments there. Let's also center our pivot, turn that off, let's push that back into the eye a little bit closer. We'll apply Turbo Smooth to this one, Ice Align Display, turn that up to maybe two, and there we go. Now you'll have to come in and uh, possibly use like the shell modifier um, after the turbo smooth of course so with the shell modifier you'll take the outer amount probably all the way down to zero and then bump up your inner amount just a little bit just to give that some thickness so that way it doesn't um, that way you can see the other side as well now if you want to sharpen up that corner again um, you'll want to add a segment right here. So hit Control Shift S to bring up your Swift Loop tool. Left click right there. And then go back to Turbo Smooth and you'll see how that hardens that up. Looking really nice. Happy with that. Um, pull that down just a little bit more to where it sits right on that eyelid. Let's go ahead and mirror this one. In the X, we'll make sure that that's an instance. Hit OK and then I'll pull that over to rest right on top there. Okay. So there's that. Um, you could also create a set along the bottom, but normally um, there's not uh, much that goes along the bottom. Might have a little bit of a different color um, along like the material or something like that whenever you're ready for texturing. Okay, so we have gone through and completed this entire character. We talked about lots and lots of tools. We've basically brought everything together from levels one through four and brought them into this final project. Now at this point you should be able to go to any one of our courses uh, that pertains to modeling in 3ds Max and you should be able to understand the reasons why we're using specific tools, the reasons we're using these different techniques, and uh, really just have a good grasp on how to overcome um, any challenge that comes your way during modeling. Now, it doesn't mean that you're an absolute master, but you've definitely got a great foundation at this point. So, from here, you have your assignment. And what I want you to do is I would like you to um, design a character. Um, you could draw it out in Photoshop like I did here. 
you could sketch it out and you could scan it into your computer. Um, you could even um, have a friend uh, draw out a, a character sketch for you. Um, you could find concept images um, out on uh, the internet and just make sure that you uh, get permission to recreate that concept image. Um, play around uh, with some different character designs. Um, start looking at um, how that's done and, and the reasons why there's uh, different character designs out there. You want to try and use an orthographic image like this, so a front and a profile, um, and try to get those um, as best as possible. Okay, and get those matched up. So that's going to be your assignment to design your own character, and it needs to be something simple um, like this. So a cartoony, uh, stylized type character. You don't want to go super realistic, as there are more and more techniques uh, for that. So now that we have finished out this course, um, you have your assignment. We're finished with the quick start level. I had a lot of fun uh, during this uh, this entire time that we've been together. I hope that you have learned the whys more than anything uh, once we've started modeling. We can use lots and lots of different tools. We can use those tools in different ways. Um, so I really hope you had a good time modeling, and I hope it's something that you want to pursue in the future, and I hope you learned a lot. I'll see you next time.